Hi guys! So in today's video I wanted to take you through my no makeup makeup routine. So if I'm not wearing a full face, you know, full on glam makeup, a lot of times I'm honestly just wearing no makeup at all. And I really don't have a problem with going a lot of different places without any makeup on my face. I don't know. I just have really gotten to the point in life where I feel like everybody just needs to embrace your face. But then there's also times where I want to feel maybe a little bit more pulled together, not even so much pulled together, but just even everything out a little bit, kind of, you know, um, add a smoother look to my skin and accentuate some of my features and also add a little bit of color to your face because I think that can just make you look more awake and alive and healthy, not necessarily like you, you know, caked makeup on your face or anything like that. So I want to show you this routine today because it's just been really nice for me lately. It's very easy. Um, I find it to be a lot quicker than my normal makeup routine. I have something in my eye. Oh, hold up. When I'm not explaining the steps on camera and everything, I can just fly through it and do it so quickly. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I might get a few questions about my hair in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys what I did. So yesterday I did lighten my hair. I was going for more of like a honey blonde color, but it is in a transitional phase because it was quite dark before. So it kind of, you have to do it a little bit gradually. Um, so just bear with us while we're transitioning. I loved the dark hair, but being that I am, I do have the blonde roots coming in every couple weeks, it just got to be very high maintenance, and for the summertime, I wanted just something that was a little bit more low maintenance. Like I said, I know I, I get a lot of questions about my hair, so I thought I would just let you guys know what I did. Um, but if you would like to see this makeup look, this no makeup makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by applying this NYX BB Beauty Balm, and my shade is in O2 Natural. And I'm just going to apply that with my fingers today, just to keep it kind of simple. And I think it looks really nice when you apply it with your fingers anyways. Another reason that I love this product is I think the shade that I'm using, O2 Natural, just kind of matches my skin tone so perfectly and it doesn't like oxidize throughout the day or turn a weird color outside in the heat. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer and I'm using the shade Nude and pop that underneath my eyes to cover those dark circles. Then we're going to blend that out and honestly a lot of times I do just use my finger but today I have this brush sitting here, so either way, whatever is easiest for you. I'm going to use my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder in Never Settle Petal, and I'm going to apply that with this big fluffy Real Techniques powder brush. Just lightly dust it over the BB cream. Okay, so when you're thinking about your eyebrows, I do like to fill them in a little bit just to give them a little bit of life, but it's, you know, you don't want to do too much with them either because when you're doing minimal makeup on the rest of your face, sometimes that can look a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Shape Brow Pencil in Blonde and basically just get a better get more of a definite shape going with them and fill in some areas that may be a bit bare. So while I have you zoomed in and up close and personal, I'm going to do my eyes really quickly. And I'm gonna take this color by MAC called Bamboo and applying it with a big fluffy brush. This is an E40, it's right into the crease and we're gonna make more of like a rounded, more natural shape with this, so. Just kind of buffing that right above the lid. I'm going to take a little bit of this peach color from my Kat Von D Esperanza palette. It's kind of hard to read the old English font that they have on this palette, but I think it's called Galore right here. And it's like an iridescent peach, but the iridescence isn't going to look really frosty or super unnatural on your lid. It's just going to put down a little bit of a reflection. Just going to go right onto my lids with my finger. So then I'm just going to take a little bit more of that bamboo color again 
And I'm running that under the lower lash line with a, a fluffy angled brush. This is an E70. So then I'm going to take my Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca, and this is in the shade Moonstone. I'm going to press that in around my tear duct using this E30 pencil brush. So whether or not you want to do some mascara is totally up to you. If you have darker lashes, you may just want to skip it, but I have really light lashes, so I like to just coat them a little bit just to tint them darker. So today I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Now using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. You know, if I'm not doing a really heavy eye look, you can definitely focus a little bit more on the skin and you know add a bit of color to the skin whether it be with your blush with your bronzer it's definitely good to play up that feature as well so I've been going back and forth between these two blushes the Tarte Amazonian clay blush in Amused which is a brighter pink or my NARS Luster Blush which is broken and spilling all over the place currently but this one is more of like a glowy warm caramel color but I think I'm gonna go with Luster for right now and see how that looks this is the one that I usually do wear so I do want to use a little bit of highlighter very sparingly just to bring back a more natural finish to the face so we're not going full-on dewy with this one but if you think about it, you know, bare skin is a very, very rarely ever completely matte. So you're going to have a little bit of moisture there and it's going to look like skin. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a bit more of that Moonstone Powder by Becca on a, this is a little duo fiber contour brush by Real Techniques, but I love it for highlighting as well. Skim the cheekbones with that. And even, I do this a lot of times just with my fingers too. That can be a really easy way to do it. Almost making a little V shape. So ending right above the tail of your eyebrow, a little bit on your nose. And another thing you can do when you're not wearing a lot of other makeup is just accentuate your lips. And that doesn't always mean wearing, you know, a neon pink lipstick, but you can take a highlighter like this and really just accentuate the natural shape of your lips. Last time I went to Sephora, I did pick up a bunch of the Becca products and one of them was the highlighter that I used in this video and then I also got this beach tint and we're going to, I think we're going to the beach in a few weeks so I wanted to check this out. It's water resistant color for your cheeks and your lips. So this one is in the color Guava. I wanted to use it as my lip color today and it smells so good. It smells like Guava. <laughs> Imagine that. Isn't this color pretty? It just kind of evens out the natural, you know, your lip color. And it's not super shiny or anything like that. So for all of you ladies out there who've got to have the gloss, I'm going to show you what that looks like too. So I'm using my NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu, which is a gorgeous, very luscious nude. And it smells so good. It smells like Krispy Kreme donut. So I'm going to have like fruity guava donut scent going on in my lips today. So for the very last final finishing touch, I'm going to use some of my MAC Fix Plus Spray. And this is my magic juice. I love this stuff. First of all, I love the way this feels. It's just so like refreshing <laughs> feeling, but uh, it also just kind of melts all of the products that you've used together, making it look even more natural, brings back the look of like a natural finish to the skin. That is my no makeup makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep in mind you can total, totally, <laughs> totally tailor these steps to work for you. So if you want to do even less products, you can even do a few more if you want, if that's your thing, or you know maybe a bit more color on the face or even less. So whatever you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable in, that's really what it's all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.